In this video, I want to go ahead and work to find the exact value for the tangent of 15 degrees. And we're going to do so in three different ways. In each way, uh, hopefully, right, will give us the same answer. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's start in this first method by saying x equals 15 degrees, okay? So that means I'll be able to write a nice equation here that says the tangent of twice x will ultimately, you know, be double of 15 degrees, so 30 degrees, which is, we know, the square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so this is a value we know from before because it's tangent of 30 degrees, very standard. Okay, well this tangent of 2x then, let's go ahead and use a double angle identity and kind of exchange him for something else. So let's go ahead and use the double angle identity that says twice tangent of x over, and then we have 1 minus tangent squared x, and that's going to equal our square root of 3 over 3. All right, and I want to do one more thing here. So we know that x equals 15 degrees. So when I see tangent of x here and the tangent of x here, I know that's referring to tangent of 15 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and say u equals tangent of x. And again, that's because it's the tangent of 15 degrees. And so I'm going to make this exchange. I'm going to say 2u over 1 minus u squared equals the square root of 3 over 3. So this means whenever we actually solve for u here, what we're going to have is the value of the tangent of 15 degrees. Okay. Well, it looks like here I have a nice proportion. Let's go ahead and do cross products. So 2u times 3, that'll be 6u equals, when I do cross products this way, it'll be the square root of 3 times 1 minus u squared. So let's go ahead and distribute through. So I have the square root of 3 minus the square root of 3u squared. And so it looks like we have a nice quadratic. So we have u squared, u, and a constant. So let's shuffle all these terms over to the left side. And we'll kind of come down here. So we have the square root of 3u squared plus 6u minus the square root of 3 equals 0. So here is a nice quadratic equation that I could solve using, you know, the quadratic formula. So we'll say this square root of 3 is my a value, this 6 is my b value, and this negative square root of 3 is going to be my c value. So u equals, and again u is going to be the tangent of x, and x is 15 degrees. So the opposite of b, so negative 6 plus or minus the square root of. We have b squared, so 6 squared is 36, minus 4 times a times c, okay, all over twice the a value. So that's what that looks like when we plug in our values. Okay, I'll move up a little bit here. There we go. So u equals negative 6 plus or minus. So inside here, we have this negative times a negative. So I know that's going to end up being a positive. And the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 is a real 3. So 3 times 4 is 12, all over that 2 radical 3. Okay, so moving over, it looks like we have negative 6 plus or minus the square root of 48 over 2 radical 3. And the square root of 48 can actually be simplified down a bit. It looks like this is 4 times 4 times 3. So we have a perfect square here, the pair of 4s. So it'll be 4 radical 3 over 2 radical 3. Now let's consider this plus or minus right here. So we know that uh, u, which refers back to the tangent of 15 degrees, needs to be positive because tangent is positive in that first quadrant where 15 degrees resides. So we need to use the 1, either the plus or the minus, that will ultimately yield a positive value. So negative 6 minus 4 radical 3 is definitely negative, and dividing that by a positive definitely makes it negative. So negative 6 plus 4 radical 3, yeah, that'll be positive. So we're going to go ahead and use that plus right there. So let's go ahead and divide this into two separate ones. Uh, if you want to, we have negative 6 over 2 radical 3, 
and then plus 4 radical 3 over 2 radical 3. Okay, I made some space right there so we can go ahead and rationalize this denominator. Okay, lots of stuff's going to happen right here. So u equals, well in this first one, the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 makes a 3, and 3 times 2 is 6, so all of this will cancel with that 6, leaving me with a negative square root of 3. And then here the radical 3 and the radical 3 cancel, and the 4 and the 2 make a 2 and a 1 respectively, so plus 2. So exchanging everything back again, we know that the tangent of 15 degrees equals, let's go ahead and turn those around, 2 minus the square root of 3. So there is one way to do that. Maybe not the easiest way, but I think it's pretty slick, setting up that equation and then solving that quadratic. So here is the tangent of 15 degrees in the first way. It's 2 minus the square root of 3. So in this second method here, again looking for the exact value for the tangent of 15 degrees, and let's go ahead and use this difference identity for tangent, which has this expansion here. So we have two angles that we're subtracting that hopefully make 15 degrees here, and it's going to be the tangent of the first one minus the tangent of the second one divided by, and we have 1 plus the product of their two tangents. Okay, so we need to come up with two angles that we know some things about, but uh, subtract to make 15 degrees. So let's go ahead and say the tangent of 45 degrees minus 30 degrees. And so what that means is this 45 degrees is going to be my A value, this 30 degrees will be my B value, I can go ahead and plug everything in and see what I have. So the tangent of 45 degrees will be the first part minus the tangent of 30 degrees. Okay, all over 1 plus, and then of course just the product of those two values. Okay, so what is the tangent of 45? Well, that's just 1 minus, and the tangent of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 3. So all that over 1 plus, and the product of those two. So the product of 1 and the square root of 3 over 3. So that'll just be the square root of 3 over 3. Okay, so complex fraction time. So let's go ahead and get common denominators up here and down here. And what that looks like I'll have is 3 minus the square root of 3 over 3, and 3 plus the square root of 3 over 3. I think I said all that right. Lots of 3's. Okay, now with our complex fraction, when we're dividing, let's go ahead and play a little fraction acrobat. We'll multiply by the reciprocal. So 3 over 3 plus the square root of 3, and of course those will cancel. So what I'm left with now is 3 minus the square root of 3 divided by 3 plus the square root of 3. Okay, let's go ahead and rationalize this denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So we have this plus right here, so the conjugate will be changing this to a minus instead. So let's get parentheses around everything because we're going to be multiplying all of this business. And we see that we have a perfect square on top, so let's go through. Looks like we have 9 minus 6 radical 3 and then plus 3 over this uh, conjugate multiplication, which will be 9 minus 3. Okay, so some nice things are going to happen here. Looks like on top it's 12 minus 6 radical 3. On the bottom we have 6. Factoring a 6 out will give me this, those sixes will cancel, and once again we see it will be two minus the square root of three. Okay, so that's what we had in the first method, and that's also what we have here with this second method. So one more to go. And this third final way, uh, definitely have saved the easiest one for last, and then we'll throw this whole thing into the calculator and just make sure what we've come up with is correct. So we're going to use the half angle identity here. So it'll be the tangent of 30 degrees divided by 2, and that's what makes 15, you know, 30 divided by 2. So looking at this formula, we see that A is going to be our 30 degrees. So it'll be 1 minus 
the cosine of 30 degrees all over the sine of 30 degrees. Okay, so one minus, what is the cosine of 30? Well, the square root of three over two, all over the sine of 30, which is one half. Okay, so let's do a little fraction acrobat again. We have this complex fraction, so dividing by one half will be multiplying by two over one. So it looks like then it's going to be 2 multiplied through by 1 minus the square root of 3 over 2. So when I do this distribution, I have 2 minus the square root of 3. And that was pretty quick and pretty smooth. So in this case, we use the half angle identity for tangent. And there we have the same value as the other two ways, 2 minus the square root of 3. So let's go ahead and grab our calculator and just throw that value in and make sure that it works. Okay, so we are going to do the inverse of tangent. So inverse tangent, we're going to say 2 minus the square root of 3. Oh, how about we actually put a, a 3 in there instead of uh, that guy. So 3 and now close the parentheses. And... Yeah, 15 degrees. So the exact value for the tangent of 15 degrees will be 2 minus the square root of 3, and we just work that out three different ways.